Hey guys, in this video we're going to create uh, this for landing page in a very simple and efficient way in Figma. And by the way, I want to remind you that uh, for a limited time my courses are at a heavy discount, so feel free to check them out, but without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, so let's get started and let's create uh, this uh, landing page. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on frame and then we're going to select the desktop frame and uh, this one 1440 uh, it's uh, perfect for our needs so let's go ahead and let's create a layout grid and we're going to change it from grid to columns and we're going to add 12 columns and uh, also add uh, just a little bit of margin um, maybe around uh, 50 it's going to do the trick and uh, what I like to do is to change uh, the color of this layout grid in order to make it a little bit more subtle so that it won't interfere too much with uh, the design process all right so we're set uh, when it comes to the grid and the layout and uh, let's go ahead and let's create uh, our logo so this is actually going to be a simple logo so let's just write something like supreme and uh, this is going to be the basic oops this is going to be the base uh, for our design project and uh, essentially what uh, we want to do over here is to So we're going to select uh, our font, uh, which is going to be Open Sans, or actually Montserrat. Let's go with Montserrat for this one, since I want these uh, vibes for this uh, fitness uh, brand. And let's go ahead here, I'm going to write About, and we're going to create uh, the menu. So let's try and make it aligned with uh, the actual logo so we have uh, some consistency going on over there i'm just going to duplicate these a few times using command plus d and uh, the second one is going to be services the fourth one is going to be pricing and actually i think i missed the third one <laughs> which is the pricing and then uh, yeah we basically have the all of the menu items right here so far so good now what we want to add in this mix is a headline so this is the fitness revolution and we're going to make it bigger let's bring this one down just like so and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add also some lorem ipsum text uh, right here and let's uh, go ahead and uh, make it a little bit smaller and let's add a little bit of line height in order to make the text brief a little bit more and we're also going to make this uh, medium in size all right so far so good I like the direction that we're heading towards to and uh, i'm going to make the font color just a little bit less uh, um, just a little bit less dark i'm going to add uh, two call to action buttons the very first one is uh, get started so this one is going to be right uh, here and we're going to create uh, a button which is essentially going to say uh, to wrap around this text so let's go ahead here center let's vertically center it and uh, let's make this one black and uh, we're going to make it uh, semi-bold and the second one is uh, going to be contact us and uh, it's going to be an outline text so let's go ahead here let's remove the fill let's add two for the stroke <coughs> and uh, i like where we're heading with this two big nice buttons maybe just a 
a little bit smaller in height. Yep, that will that will do. But I like the the overall direction and uh, how um, good they look overall. So it's actually working out uh, pretty well. And uh, the very next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, some sort of uh, a icon at the bottom and uh, or actually on the right so i actually am using uh, this fitness icons from a fitness pack from ui8.net and uh, this uh, fitness icons pack is amazing like look at the level of the details it's uh, it's insane so i'm actually going to grab uh, both of these and we're going to play around with uh, some compositions and by the way i'm going to leave the link uh, in the description for this so keep an eye on that if you're interested in having a look and um, all right this is already starting to look pretty interesting and uh, I might want to add uh, some sort of uh, a drop shadow and I want to make it maybe try and uh, make it glow just a little bit just to have that uh, that wow effect on the composition all right it's already starting to look uh, pretty interesting and uh, probably want to add uh, a scroll down with uh, together with an icon in order to really make this uh, um, just to add some some of those details which are usually quite uh, good to have in these uh, interfaces just as a as a hint for the user so let's give it a shot let's make uh, or let's add a arrow probably going to go with this one from nucleo icons which is always uh, one of my favorite uh, um, icon sets out there can't really go wrong with uh, nucleo in my opinion but uh, again to each uh, their own taste i really like how minimal they look and generally speaking just how, how big the library is and flexible you can customize the stroke the color um cap and uh, the corners so yeah pretty pretty good in my opinion so all right so far so good probably want to make this one just one point bigger and there we go Cool, so far so good. Now it's time to create uh, a, another version of this uh, and uh, let's try and maybe change up the, the color. Let's uh, work around some uh, different colors for this. And uh, we probably want to go with uh, a linear gradient. So let's go ahead here and let's uh, try and change the the linear gradients to something which might be interesting and this one's a little bit too much actually let's uh, just swap these guys let's see how that looks okay maybe the first one is a little bit too intense um i think overall even the previous version was was okay this one's looking interesting, but there's something about the the blur which uh, I'm not 100% uh, sure about. And I'm actually not too sure about the, the linear gradient in and of itself. Maybe I'll, I'll just keep the same color and make it a little bit more subtle. Yeah, that, that definitely looks, looks better. And I probably want to have a little bit less of a glow effect and uh, maybe want to go with something darker huh. not too sure about it maybe if you make it subtle like this that could work yep definitely all right so far so good and uh, let's try and make this white no that will definitely won't work <laughs> let's make it darker since we want this uh, to be extremely clear so this is definitely a more intense uh, 
um, intense look. And uh, another thing that we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're going to try the same composition with uh, the basketball. So actually, let's go ahead here and let's hide this. Let's duplicate uh, and uh, let's give it a shot uh, with uh, this one over here. This one can look uh, good as well, in my opinion. This, this one's also quite interesting and we can definitely make the, the gradient a little bit different. And uh, yeah, so far so good. I think uh, definitely has some uh, potential overall. And uh, let's try over here and make... So as you can see, what I'm doing is essentially playing around with uh, concepts, retrying and see what could be interesting uh, visually speaking for this composition. So other things that we could potentially do is uh, add uh, some sort of backgrounds. So for example, if we go over here, you know, we can add some, uh, some sort of uh, a um, light background. So if I add it here, we can make this, this linear gradient. Yeah, so something around those lines. We just make it uh, pretty subtle, remove uh, the stroke. Uh, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So this is all stuff that we can uh, we can easily do, uh, especially after the uh, base uh, is uh, laid out and uh, we're pretty happy with uh, the composition in and of itself. So yeah, here we go. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'm going to see you in the very next video.